Okay, so I want to talk about how I would introduce geometric properties of polygons. First thing I would do is I would take a look at a program called TurtleArt. And how this program works is it's a programming environment for, for students, and it's fairly simple and the syntax is, is easy. And the idea is that I would sort of show students just a couple of things to get them started. In particular, I would show them the forward and the right and the repeat. I would give the students a chance to play with it, to sort of figure out what they can do with it. I think that's an important aspect of learning how to use any software program. And then once they've had a chance to play around for a little while, I would take a pause, get the group's attention, and we would look at some challenges. So can we make these shapes? What could we do to make these shapes? And I would leave it up there sort of in the turtle art environment so they can see that it's possible to do. And then uh, while they're working on the challenges, I would circulate around the room and sort of check in with individual students, with individual groups, and see what, how they're doing. And if a student is finding this fairly easy, then I give them some more challenges to think about. And if they're finding this too difficult, well, then I try to scaffold it, perhaps by giving them more support or by introducing them to their colleague beside them who's working on it, you know, um, reasonably well. Uh, then we'd have a discussion, and I think I'd probably introduce these questions and say, let's think, talk about these questions, and I would have them talk about the questions in small groups, really so that there's more opportunity for people to talk and be able to, um, you know, rather than just one person talking, and then, uh, so they're talking and they're sharing in group. Then I would give them a chance to go and do some more challenges, um, to do some more exploration. Uh, if they've gotten to where they want, they can play with it some more. And finally, we would summarize. And basically, I'd have a group of students and take turns trying to summarize what did we discover? What's the, the thing that we discovered from using this program? And how can we generalize this to uh, other polygons?